now we'll take up the third session that is operators in c language c language has many operators in it it is a symbol which is used to perform operation on data when you need to perform certain kind of operation on any given data we need to use different kinds of operators based on different kinds of operation c language is rich in built in set of operators the list of operators in c language are first arithmetic operators relational operators logical operators bitwise operators increment and decrement operators in arithmetic operators we again have certain classifications likewise in relational logical and so on not only these even these are the operators like assignment conditional equality comma and size of operators these are the types of operators we have in c language the types of arithmetic operators are a plus minus into slash and modulus or remainder as of now we'll take up each and every one by using a program hash include stdio.h a main function and this say integer a comma and a b now i'll accept values for a and b from the user by using scan if statement scan if person d and person d the first person d is for a and the second person d is for b now i can say i'll take up one more variable comma c c is a variable which takes up the addition of a plus b now when i say print f sum is person d that is for c now you can see the output happens to be in this way because of scanf the compiler is expecting me to give certain values let the value be 6 and the other value for b is 9 so it's 6 plus 9 add compiler add 6 plus 9 and the addition is given into c finally printing sum of 6 and 9 is 15 similarly you can place the minus symbol instead of plus it's minus so once again 6 and 5 so it performs 6 minus 5 giving the value into c which i'm printing is 1 so now change the text let it be instead of sum let it be subtraction of the given values be that 6 and 9 so 6 minus 9 is minus 3 likewise multiplication now if you say star over here it performs a into b if your inputs are 5 and 6 5 is the 30 say multiplication is and then you have division operator division division even in mathematical terms if your input is 5 and 5 5 by 5 is 1 actually when you place a slash operator it comes in this way 5 by 5 by 5 mathematically it's 1 finally it's the modulo or division or we call it as remainder operator when you say percentile operator it's not finding the percentage between a and b it's wrong you are getting the remainder consider if the values of a and b are 5 and it's 15 and 3 when you do the division of 15 and 3 the remainder will be 0 consider if my inputs are 15 and 3 from the keyboard percentage which is the remainder is 0 if you say 15 and 2 15 and 2 the remainder will be 1 because 2 7 is a 14 and 1 is the remainder so slash gives slash gives the coefficient and percentile gives the remainder operator after this we have relational operators the general mathematical operators greater than less than greater than or equal to less than or equal to 
and this is how we represent not equal to in C language whereas in maths we strike off the equal to symbol and in C language we say not equal to this is not operator that we will see later on and equality operator this one We'll, we'll be taking up all these operators in detail when we enter into programming concepts of C language. All these operators, relational or arithmetic, what all operators it may be, it needs two operands. Now what do I mean by operands? Operands as you can see, whether it may be plus, minus, into, whatever the operator may be, I need two variables to perform this particular operation done. So these are called as operands and this is an operator. So all the arithmetic operators need two operands or more than two operands. That is the reason we call arithmetic as binary operators. Coming to relational operators also need two operands. You need to compare A greater than B or A less than B or A less than or equal to greater than or equal to likewise A not equal to B A equal to B we need at least two operands to perform arithmetic or relational operators therefore I can call arithmetic and relational operators as binary operators the next one is logical operators before going for logical operators let me remind the concept of truth tables and table and or table in maths uh, that is from 10th standard maths when we have true and true you say true when you have true and false it's false likewise for or as well true or true is true true or false is also true so the similar concept is given for logical and as well as logical or and not it gives the opposite of what you have. I repeat the same. We'll be doing all these operators in detail when we enter into programming concepts. Next comes the bitwise operators. Even the bitwise operators deal with the truth tables like AND and OR. Increment and decrement operators. Going back to the previous program Consider you have two variables. Let uh, one a variable i which takes three. Now I say i takes up the addition of i plus one. To prove what i holds, I'll be using a printf statement, comma i. It prints the latest value of i, which is one is added to three, making it as four, and give it to i. So I'll be printing the i value which is now 4. Clear? Now a shortcut given for this is i plus equal to 1. There is no difference between saying i equal to i plus 1 or i plus equal to 1. Even it gets the output 4. This we call it as comments. Compiler will completely ignore what all comes after these two forward slashes. I can place anything over here. These are all under comments. Compiler will completely ignore. If I place it over here, this is an error. Compiler says such a thing is not accepted. Undefined symbol in function main. It says what exactly this is. So what all you want to write for your own sake? Use the comments. Now as I say, i equal to i plus 1 the same as i plus c equal to 1 give the same result. You can even say i equal to i minus 1 or i minus equal to 1, it's 3 minus 1 that is 2. I will comment out this and now I will open this one, uncomment this one, it's again 3 minus 1 that is 2 into i printed on the screen. So saying in either of the ways that i equal to i minus 1 or i minus equal to 1 is the same thing. There is absolutely no difference. You can even go for all the arithmetic operators. You can go for into, 
you can go for the division you can go for the percentile operator in this shortcut method now coming to the next topic which is increment and decrement operator the other shortcut given for these two things is as we have seen both are the same ways to increment our variable i by 1 you'll be seeing i being incremented by 1 which is 4 on the screen okay another shortcut given to increment the same thing is i plus plus when you say i plus plus you are incrementing your i by 1 4 again so any of the way say i equal to i plus 1 say i plus i plus equal to 1 or i plus plus all will increment your i by 1 here i can even increment it by 31 31 plus 3 is 34 incrementation by 31 here also i can go for incrementation like 14 or whatever it may be it's possible 14 plus 3 17 so in these two representations i can increment by i by any required number whereas in the third one i can always increment i by 1 only i cannot increment i cannot say plus plus to increment i by more than 1 compiler will never accept this if you are saying i plus plus remember you can increment your variable i with only 1 similarly for minus you are decrementing by 1 you are decrementing by 14 you are decrementing by 31 here again decrementation is possible with any required or any number but here decrementation happens only by 1 So three minus one, that is two. Coming to increment and decrement operators in detail, if you see, we have pre-increment that is plus plus a variable name and pre-decrement minus minus variable name, and again post-increment variable plus plus post-decrement variable minus minus. What exactly happens over here is, say i plus plus. say i minus minus here incrementation here decrementation but this kind of incrementation is called as post incrementation and this kind of decrementation is called as post decrementation after that you can even say plus plus i we call it as incrementation of course but this kind of incrementation is called as pre incrementation similarly minus minus i pre decrementation these are the four kinds of increment and decrement operators we have coming to each and everything in detail hash include stdio.h a main function in which i'll be writing my code I I have an integer variable i which takes three. I say print the value for i. I'll be printing three on the screen. Quite simple. Now when I say plus plus incrementation happens here itself. When I say minus minus of type. pre incrementation or pre decrementation the change happens there itself whether it may be incrementation or decrementation coming to post incrementation the change happens the change doesn't happen there i is 3 and i'm printing 3 the incrementation happens from the next line onwards similarly for minus minus the incrementation happens in the next line onwards for pre incrementation and decrementation the increment or decrementation happens there itself for post incrementation or decrementation the change happens from the next line onwards this is the difference between post and pre increments next one assignment operator when you say 
int i equal to 3 actually you are not comparing i and 3 you are placing the constant 3 into the variable i this is called as assignment operator but not equality operator in example k equal to 10 we are placing the variable 10 into k equality operator when you want to combine i and 3 use the double equal to symbol which we call it as equality operator in C language we are comparing the left hand side and the right hand side it's not placing the content or the right hand side value into left hand side variable conditional operator symbol used is we need to, we need two symbols to use in conditional operator one is question mark the other is colon it is nothing but two way branching or alternative or if else statement we'll take up if else statement later on it's very similar to the conditional operator syntax given is expression one question mark expression two colon expression three a small program on the conditional operator I'm considering two variables a comma b I'll scan I'll prompt the user to print numbers I'll scan the numbers where this user can pass two values for a and for b now coming to the syntax we have expression 1 let the expression 1 be a greater than b after that I need to use a question mark after question mark it's expression 2 in expression 2 I'll be saying printf a is big this is my expression 1 after expression 1 it's expression 2 in expression 2 I'll be saying printf b is big to explain this what exactly happens is based on the expression 1 based on expression 1 if the expression 1 is true I'll execute this printf statement if the expression 1 is false I'll be executing the other printf statement so we'll execute this program consider uh, I'll, I have the values for a and b as for a it's 1 for b it's what do you say is 1 greater than 2 1 greater than 2 1 greater than 2 is false and so I'll execute the other statement which is B is big if my inputs are 1 and 2 we are getting the output as B is big will be printing this one I repeat once again when the expression is true you'll execute this one when the expression is false you'll be execute this one for example if my input values are 2 and 1 we say 2 is greater than 1 is true and so we'll be printing a is big this printf statement so based on this expression we'll be executing either this one or this one if the expression is true you'll execute this one if the expression is false you'll execute the other printf statement this is a program to add two numbers I'm including stdr.h so that I can use the printf table function I'm including conio.h so that I can use the getch and clearch function a main function in which I have int as 10 uh, a as 10 and b equal to 67 another integer variable which holds the sum of a and b sum equal to a plus b printf total is percent d that is for sum and the end of the program this gives you the addition of 67 and 10 the operators what all we use till now have certain level and precedence the level is according to this table the set of braces that will take up uh, this is a concept of arrays and this is a kind of where in structures the not operator the complementary the increment and decrement operators and size of operator that I'll show you later on the unary and binary 
into slash and percentile the arithmetic operators another arithmetic operators less than greater than symbols not equal to equal to petwise and operator the truth table or likewise coming to the final operator which is the size of operator when you say integer i actually you are reserving certain space on the compiler memory and that space is given by the size of operator printf that particular size size of integer this gives the size what you are taking it takes two bytes of space for integer it's 2 bytes for float it's 4 bytes for character it's 1 byte so the size of operator gives size of all the operate data types we have so this is the, these are the operators we have the next session will take up the programming concepts